Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze, and welcome to our kitchen. Holiday season rapidly approaching, having doubts as to what you want to prepare, prime rib, turkey, ham, turducken. What about roast beef? Let me show you a foolproof way to make a fantastic roast beef that you can serve fresh and hot, or you could chill it and slice it as a deli meat for cold sandwiches. Join me now as I show you this unbelievable and unbeatable technique and recipe. Well, to begin, let's discuss the meat real quick. This is a 171 Charlie in the North American Meat Institute Meat Buyer's Guide, or Eye of Round. Uh, the Eye of Round that I got is a certified Angus beef. It weighed about six pounds. This is about one half of the portion. The Eye of Round, yeah, some great things about it is it's, it's economical, it's very flavorful, and as you can tell, it's a very lean piece of meat. So uh, in order to make this meat you know, somewhat chewable, it's gonna require slow cooking processes, like uh, slow roasting, you could braise it, you could stew it, cut into cube steak, you can grind this meat, um, you could use it for a carving station, and you could even cure it and use it in deli meats, and which you will find in uh, the second video uh, with of roast beef. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this and we're going to cook it sous vide with some spices. Well, here we are after 14 hours. We remove the package from the water bath. Now let's go ahead, take it from the vacuum seal bag. I'll put it on paper towels and then uh, begin to dry it off. You can wipe off some of the excess peppercorns and mustard seed um, if you like. And once we get this dried off, let's go ahead and sear it in ca preferably cast iron. We want to get a nice dark color on the edges and then it is ready for service. Well, there you have, after the sear, got a really nice color on the exterior. Some of the peppercorns and spices are still on it. So now, let's go ahead and start slicing into it. <clears throat> you wanna make certain that you slice very thin because the meat is very lean and will be very tough. So slicing it thin is your best chance of uh, being able to make it chewable. <clears throat> and if you look at, because of sous vide, that entire piece of meat is rare all the way through. If we would have done it the old school way with just hard searing it and roasting in the oven, you'll notice this in exterior. As it's cooking longer, it turns gray on its way in. And uh, yeah, it, nothing wrong with it. It just, you know, tell me what looks more attractive, this or the old one. So uh, not to mention this is gonna be extremely tender from cooking 14 hours at that low temperature in its own juices. Well, there you have my absolute unbeatable roast beef. A lot of flavor, very juicy, and unbelievably tender. At this point, we could serve it uh, warm, or we could actually chill it in the cooler for a while, for a few hours, and then slice it thinly and eat it like a deli roast beef, making sandwiches and whatnot. Honestly, I can't wait to have my sandwich with this. Horseradish mayo, some pickled onion and arugula. Oof. Uh, I'm also doing another version where we are uh, 
brining it with curing salt, searing it, and roasting it. And then take a look at both videos so you can see the difference. Um, both are f fabulous ways to have the roast beef, although I prefer more doing the sous vide. I think just the, the tenderness and everything on it is just so much better. And also I think the flavor is gonna be a little better on it as well. Um, but for those that are not experienced with sous vide cooking or you know just don't do it, don't know how to, whatever, um, there are other options too. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I'd love to hear some feedback and any questions, of course, and give it a try yourself. See what you think. Um, I got a feeling that once you do one yourself, it's going to be a new thing uh, for you. You're going to really want to do it all the time. Uh, well, if you've not done so, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you on board with us. And also hit that notification bell. Be up to date with our weekly posts and uh, stay in tune with us. Thank you very much again. Yoy, bye.